What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're just doing a little update on the plants because it's been about two weeks and everything's looking pretty good. So I figured I'd show you. I got some couple of fish coming. Okay, whatever I just said there. got a couple of fish coming so that's gonna be the next video so we're gonna get this done real quick because they're showing up UPS we'll start with the African tank the only thing we had ever planted in this is we had some pothos or pothos whatever you want to call it and like a good 75% of that didn't make it it was just clippings that we cut off of these plants here I just realized my flash is on but yeah we just cut clippings off of those and put them in the tank, and about half of them started to grow root, which is cool. These are still fake plants. Got something that I want to replace those for. And then over in the big tank, we got one piece of pothos that's growing in there. The roots are growing real good. See right. We also moved the mangrove over here. It wasn't getting enough light on that tank. And then right here, we have our Italian bell. Let me get rid of this. We have our Italian bell, and that's doing good. It melted back, and now we got all this new growth, and it's doing fantastic. Still got some fake plants in there we're going to replace at some point. Can't wait to get these new fish, guys. Super rare, super cool. So make sure you see the next video. I know I said I was going to leave the five-gallon tank the way it was, but there was just some things that I couldn't handle about it, and I added some more stuff. So if you've seen the other video of when I built this scape, it uh, was definitely different. I went out and I now got some dwarf hair grass, which is doing all right. Not too good, not too bad. Also got some of this stuff, which I think is just guppy grass that kind of showed up. Another piece of Scarlet Temple over here and whatever this is that just showed up, don't know. Anubius Nana Petite, doing really good. We got eggs for snails everywhere. See those right there in the middle of the screen? And there's some right there, but we're not gonna be able to see them because of the lighting. So more Scarlet Temple. Those melted back hard. I really thought I was going to lose those plants, but all of it's doing fine. We did lose all of the crystal red shrimp, and now we got chocolate shrimps in here. Love these chocolate shrimps. Got about eight of these guys. You're going to have to excuse everything floating around. I just stirred up the bottom to try to get the filter to pick it out. And I'm having a hard time getting the algae under control there's ram's horn snails in there there's a couple of pond snails that came in on some plants there's the shrimp but it's just the ratio of light and nutrients i don't know it's slowly getting better so i'm hopefully i'm doing the right thing i was running co2 on this tank but like i almost killed everything with this co2 because i'm running one of these so this is the CO2 I was using. It's the Fluval 45 gram CO2 kit. It's very basic. Um, if you're gonna do CO2, I suggest you just go with a regular CO2 system. Don't get this thing. Anyways, this is your bubble counter. And it goes up through this hose here and just makes a bunch of little bubbles and comes out and puts CO2 into your tank. The problem is, is I can't adjust this down low enough to get like, one bubble every two to two and a half seconds, I can't get that. So it's too much CO2 to be running on the five gallon. And if you turn it up too high, that happens. So, lots of room for error there. All right guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you liked the video and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button to check out the next couple of videos, which is gonna be super rare fish that we're getting. And then there's also some fry that you guys don't know about yet unless you're following me on Instagram. Till next time guys, see ya.